Speed is a huge subject, a very, very huge domain, which is very difficult to speak on in a very short time or other by a single person. So in this present scenario, I'm saying a good evening to all the uh, Facebook active viewers. I will restrict my talk on pain arising from osteoarthritis of the knees. Basically, the most common problem that person, elderly people mostly, face day to day. The treatment for pain arising from osteoarthritis basically is divided into three parts. The physical part, the pharmacological part, and the surgical part. The problem which has taken place in the last few months or a year or so is the advent of the COVID-19 pandemic which is going to take a far more time to settle, as the epidemiologists say. This problem of COVID has led to deferring of surgical procedures for alleviating pain or postponing them for quite a sizable time. At the same time, there have been few other problems like the patient factors. Now, Mostly patients who are having osteoarthritic pains are elderly and they do have certain comorbidities. Plus the factor that they cannot go to physicians or healthcare workers or health providers who were probably giving them support due to the lack of communication during the lockdown times, due to lack of communications because of non-availability of public transport as it was prior to COVID times and plus the fact is that overcrowding is supposed to be avoided. This factors created by the COVID, along with elderly people being, being immunocompromised or immunocompromised, has led to such of what factors probably can be effective to tide over this difficult time. Not to say that we should also be needing to protect our healthcare service from getting overexposed to people who may be or who may not be suffering from COVID infections. In such of this, the PubMed, Cochrane and Scopus, who have databases all over the world, have assessed and reported a homemade based or home based treatment for osteoarthritis, which basically includes three big aspects. They have given a huge load on the physical aspect of the, or the physical therapy. The pharmacological therapy is of course needing a guided approach by the physicians or the healthcare providers, be it personally, be it directly or over telemedicines. And surgical uh, approaches are being kept for extremely severe pain and deformities or crippling problems. So highlight the pain management in COVID scenario, the physical aspects which probably was a bit neglected prior has taken the top seat. What are these physical methods? Active exercise. People who are not probably doing enough exercises should do exercises in the form of asanas, which has been an age-old practice of India. They should do stretching exercises, they should do muscle building exercises, and if possible, they can try home cycling. Physical therapies or the therapies which are produced or provided by uh, physiotherapists can be a big role. They do give mass massages which reduce the muscle tone, stiffness, and keep the uh, joint supple and mobile. Along with that, to alleviate the pain, they have electrically operated different systems like the inferential therapy, the infrared rays, the ultrasonic rays, uh, the shortwave diathermies, etc, etc, and etc. Proper nutrition is very important. One has to take care that with the reduced activity, there is a lot of percentage of taking or gaining weight. One should directly control the weight by having or doing regular exercises and having a balanced diet in conjunction or in taking consideration and consulting the dietitians. Proper nutrition, as I said, is very important. 
Next comes the part of the orthotics and the supports. Orthotics are basically supports just giving a stability to the sore area, reducing the movement a bit of that area and thereby healing the pain. Use of support for med, uh, ambulation like sticks, walkers can definitely tie some time so people who are being more and more crippled or more and more home ridden or bedridden can try to be a bit mobile. Uh, the next point which comes in management of pain is the pharmaceutical or pharmacological therapy. The pharmacological therapy basically which can be tried without consultation of physicians, maybe calcium rich diet, having enough vitamin D support, having vitamin E, vitamin C support. The next group is the cartilage reassuring or re uh, restoring drugs. They are basically dietary supplements but should be taken in consultation after the uh, green chip from physicians. Using of painkillers should be avoided as much as possible and if at all has to be used should be restricted to paracetamols and safe drugs. So creating an environment where reduced activities is being taken care of due exercises stretching, muscle building exercises should be a very or good alternative to the tide of this time. As for the experiences that we have gathered over the period of time, that people who are following these uh, uh, sort of uh, instructions of having a good physical activity and proper nutrition have tided over the uh, this crisis or severe crisis peak time from March, April to end of this year. Well, and now that the time is coming that may we know of in a few months' time or maybe a year's time, of course the stigma are, and the uh, infectivity of COVID will remain. Due protection taking being taken, things will come to normal. Pain will also remain with us with a very, very proper guided approach. Thank you very much.